again to this week's bait demonstration. Well, it's a combination of the trace for scratching, especially for cob and all other edibles, the shoaling fish or uh, single moving fish in between reef, broken reef, uh, up to 10 kilo fish. This is a fantastic, fantastic scratch combination of chocker and the trace, which in competitive fishing, a lot of guys are using this. And you can move from spot to spot, fish the little gullies, a holes, broken reef, uh, even off points in working water. You're looking for working water where you're going to put this bait. And uh, it really can produce a number of different species, but uh, a definite favorite to look and find the cob in between uh, the banks, well, working water, reefs, broken reefs. Uh, it's really a great fish finder. Now, I'm first going to run you guys through the trace. I'm not going to make it up. I'm using two circle hooks, in this case a 4.0 tuna circle the mustard and I'm using a 0.60 kingfisher line here because it's nice and soft it allows movement again this trace is all about movement um, creating those vibrations in the water uh, the, and uh, triggering the fish to snap at it quite quickly um, your sinker choice it depends on where you're fishing uh, that you're going to use the right sinker anything from a three to a six ounce depending on the distance you you require I just put a loop in the bottom of this trace hook on the sink and you can change the sinker accordingly you can use nylon grabs uh, normal grapnels this kind of sinker bottle sinker cone sinker anything will work with this trace um, I like this the, the kind of round sinkers and bottle sinkers for this type of fishing you're in working waters so you want it to wash around off the banks into the gullies and all of that so a sinker like that will help you now what I've used just to give you now guys an idea of uh, the trace, how to make the trace, these two combi, the power combi swivels, all right, so it gives nice movement, prevents wrapping up, and then uh, the circle hooks, you can use normal 2.0 mustard ring soys if you want to fish j-hooks for this, doesn't matter what you want to fish, both circle and j-hook work very effectively. One thing I must mention by using circles, if you don't know this already, when you snarl your hook, the line must always come out to the front of a circle hook, otherwise it prevents the hookups. All right, like that you can see the way it pulls, it immediately sets the hook and that's what you want. Another thing about circle hooks, if you don't know already, you don't strike a circle hook. If a fish takes you, you reel it on gradually. You reel it and then lift your rod. And once you've set that hook, then you can just secure it by doing that with your rod. All right, you're not gonna strike it like you would do with a, with a J hook. All right, now getting to the baits, very simple. There's two ways of doing this bait. So on the one hook, I'm going to do it one way. And on the other hook, I'm going to do it the other way. All right. Now, personally, I like using the bottom pieces here. Because it gives more flex, it's thinner, which allows for more movement. All right. Very simple like that. Slippery. Cut yourself three, four, doesn't matter, but three tentacles seem to be the norm. Okay. Now guys, you won't believe this, that's the bait. Alright? You put it on the hook, just hook it through like that. And that movement in the water is what lures the fish to strike it. Now the other way the guys do it as well. So you're basically going to cut yourself three thin strips. And you hook them on one by one. And it's going to give you the same effect and movement is what the other one will and this is very effective swing the sinker over there very quick very simple Nothing special about this, but boy does it catch fish. If you're going to find fish in between the banks, working water, broken reef, this is a very, very effective way to do it. 
You can even go as far as putting a prawn on the one and then just using this bait on the other one. But the movement of this in the water, those tentacles moving around, it just gets any fish excited and get them to snap the bait. Now for the rest of this ad can chaka, this is gonna be my breakfast this morning and I'm gonna enjoy this. Uh, I might have to give two pieces to Caroline maybe. But um, thank you for watching. And guys, really go try this bait, go try this trace. Um, just take an afternoon, hour or two hours walk from spot to spot to spot and you will be very surprised on what you catch on it. And uh, in the mid Natal area, I'll use smaller hooks and even smaller baits and on the south coast as well. And north coast, this is kind of the right size, eastern Cape, southern Cape, Cape Town, this is the right size where there's a lot more cop, where you can expect more cop. But even on the south coast, a lot of rock cod, uh, lemon fish, cop in the area, this is great. This is really a great way to find them.